In Isaiah 27 verse 1, Scripture identified twisting serpent called Leviathan. In that day, the Lord with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan, the fling serpent. Leviathan, the twisting serpent. This spirit's goal is to twist everything in our path that is good and holy as we follow Jesus. The Leviathan spirit twists truth, communication between people, perceptions, and meanings. Leviathan is a spirit of pride, a stubborn demon that speaks in a rough tone. Leviathan is very controlling, religious, independent, and rebellious spirit. This spirit will lead you to self-exaltation, hardiness, arrogance, lying, cursing, arguing, strife, and anger. This spirit is unyielding, unchangeable. This spirit will bring a lot of destructions in your life. Leviathan is more than a sea monster. He is a principality. He is regarded among the principalities as the mighty. Leviathan is a predator spirit. When he captures his prey, he does not allow him or her to go easily. The one thing that Leviathan hates is prayer. To pray means to humble yourself before God, and Leviathan is never humble or repentant. Supplications and prayers bring forth deliverance and healing, but Leviathan's pride will not allow him to humble himself and repent. Leviathan is depicted as having seven heads, which are pride, a critical spirit, confusion, impatience, a lying tongue, deception, and incantation. These are reflected in Proverbs 6, verse 16 through 19. The Bible states, These six things the Lord hates, yet seven are an abomination to him, a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. You cannot play around with this spirit. It will be dangerous to attempt to do so. You cannot be tamed and has therefore to be renounced completely. You cannot enter in a covenant with this spirit. It encourages people to break covenant by encouraging those under its influence to leave churches. It can destroy marriages and break up friendships. Leviathan twist the truth. Those under its influence hear things in a twisted way, and then pass on this twisted version. So this is definitely a spirit of deception. It is this twisting of the truth that makes it a difficult spirit to deal with. You cannot reason with this spirit because it blinds people to the truth. In fact, those under its influence can be so deceived that they do not appreciate that they are deceived or are twisting the truth. Leviathan's spirit in his kingdom is often protected by a number of other spirits, and those includes witchcraft, anger, manipulation, self-centeredness, rage, unyielding, destruction, mockery, rebellion, shame, arrogance, control, disobedience, strife, cursing, lying, selfishness, stubbornness, egotistical, conceit, and intolerance. This spirit can only be overcome through the supernatural activities of God's spirit, not by any human means. The Bible teaches us in Ephesians 6 verse 12 that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Our enemy do not represent himself physically but in the form of a spiritual influence. We can only defeat our enemy by using spiritual weapons that God has made available for us. In Ephesians 6 verse 13 to 17, the Bible tells us, Therefore take up the armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and has shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shell of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I give you glory and I give you praise. Forgive me for all my sins and wash me clean by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord of my life. I am born again and I am saved by grace. I am on my way to heaven because I have Jesus Christ in my heart. I receive my forgiveness now in faith, and I thank you, Father, for the cross. I choose today to forgive those who have hurt me. You deserve all the glory and all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved Holy Spirit, I humbly ask that you come and join me as I pray today, and to bear witness during my prayers. Will you please honor me with your presence? 
I ask for your presence and testimony of the three witnesses, the spirit, the water, and the blood during my prayer time. As the witness of God is greater than the witness of man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I ask you to apply this prayer also over the lives of all my family members and all my loved ones. And every listener who agrees with me in the name and authority of my Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The sins I confess during my prayer and the prayers of renunciation. I confess on behalf of not only myself and my ancestors, but also on behalf of anybody I have been connected to or am currently connected to close enough to get affected by any of their sins or negative consequences of their sins, including demons, any sicknesses, any curses or spells, any hexes, mindsets, and all others. However, although I honor my earthly parents, my relatives and loved ones, I utterly turn away from and forsake all their sins. During my prayer, Father, I command all demonic spirits to be completely bound up, forbidden to manifest, and go straight to the abyss, touching or harming no one, including animals on their way there. I also declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that no backlash or aftermath will result in any of my prayers or actions. All demonic counterattacks are hereby stricken forbidden in the name and authority of my Lord Jesus Christ. And if any should try, they should be bound also and sent straight to the abyss. And I command the abyss to be locked and sealed above them. I command all mirrors to be covered with the blood of Jesus. And all candles and incense that have been laid in order to affect me in any way be put out forever in the heavenlies and the earthly realm in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you forgive me for the sins I've committed that open the doors to the Leviathan spirit. I know you have forgiven me and therefore I pray with confidence. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bound and cast out the spirit of pride, Leviathan, hardiness, arrogance, idleness, contentious spirits, rejection of God, self-righteousness, self-centeredness, self-dejection, vainglory, arrogance, superiorism, perfectionism, and any vanity. I take authority over them in the mighty name of Jesus and command them to live this minute. Go in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, I ask that you break the head of the dragons in the water. Cut off the head of every hydra in the name of Jesus. Break the head of Leviathan into pieces. Punish Leviathan the piercing serpent, even Leviathan the crooked serpent with your sword, great and strong sword. Slay the dragon that is in the sea. I break all curses of pride and Leviathan for my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Rift the scales of Leviathan, break the strength of Leviathan's necks, break the stony heart of Leviathan and crush it into pieces. Break the teeth of Leviathan and pluck the spurl out of his mouth. I put a hook in Leviathan's nose, a cord around his tongue, and I bore a thorn in his jaw. Lord, you rule the sea and the waters by your strength. Do not let any evil waters overflow my life. The channels of water are seen at your rebuke. Rebuke all pride and arrogant demons that are cursed. I bound every sea monster that will attack my life or region in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring down all demons by your power, Father. Bring down the proud demons that have exalted themselves against your people. Scatter the proud in the imagination of their hearts. God, you resist the proud. Your power is against the high ones who have rebelled against you. Let not the foot of pride come against me. Break the crown of pride, Father. Break Rahab into pieces as one that is slain. Scatter your enemy with your strong arm. Let not Leviathan oppress me today, Father. O Lord, render a reward to Leviathan. Raise up a watch over Leviathan. Let not the proud waters go after my soul. I rebuke and destroy every trap the devil has set for me. Let the proud spirit stumble and fall today. Break the pride of Leviathan's power. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. I command the helper of Rahab to bow before the Lord. I strip the scales of Leviathan and take away his armor. Cast abroad the rage of thy wrath and abase Leviathan. Smite through Leviathan with your understanding. Look on Leviathan and bring him low. Thread him down in his place. Bring your people from the depth of the sea. Smite Bashan in the kingdom of Og. I bound and cast out all my control spirit and the octopus and squid in the name of Jesus. Let the waters of the deep be dried up and destroy every spirit of Leviathan. In the name of Jesus Christ, I drop your rivers, your seas, and your springs. I call for a drought upon Leviathan's waters tonight. Any witchcraft practice under the water against my life receive immediate judgment of fire in the name of Jesus. Let every evil altar under the water upon which certain evils are done against me be roasted tonight in the name of Jesus. Every priest ministering at an evil altar against me inside any water fall down and die in Jesus' name. Any power under any rivers or sea remotely 
completely controlling my life be destroyed by fire of God and I shake myself loose from your hold tonight in Jesus mighty name let any evil monitoring mirror ever use against me under any water crash into pieces in the name of Jesus Every marine witchcraft that has introduced spirit, husband or wife or child in my dream be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agent of marine witchcraft physically attached to my marriage fall down and perish now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agent of marine witchcraft assigned to attack finances through dreams fall down and perish in the name of Jesus. I file a counter report in heaven against every water spirit in the name of Jesus. I pull down every stronghold of bewitchment, enchantment, any jinx of divination fashioned against me by marine spirit in the name of Jesus. Let the thunderbolts of God locate and destroy every marine witchcraft convent where deliberation and decisions have ever been fashioned against me in the name of Jesus. Any water spirit from my place of birth practicing witchcraft against me and my family be amputated by the word of God in the name of Jesus. Let every spiritual weapon of wickedness fashioned against me under rivers or sea be roasted by fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power of marine witchcraft holding in my blessing in bondage, receive the fire of God and release them now to me tonight in Jesus' mighty name. I loose my mind and soul from the bondage of marine witches in the name of Jesus. Any marine witchcraft chain binding my hands and feet from prospering be broken tonight and shattered into pieces in the name of Jesus. Every arrow shot into my life from under any water by witchcraft power come out now and go back to your sender in Jesus' mighty name. Any evil material transfer into my body through contact with marine witchcraft agent be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. Any sexual pollution of marine spirit husband or wife in my body, I flush you out tonight by the blood of Jesus. Any evil name given to me under any water, I reject it and cancel it with the blood of Jesus. Every image constructed under any water to manipulate me be roasted in the name of Jesus. Any evil ever done against me through marine witchcraft oppression and manipulation be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Every marine witchcraft presented in my family be disgraced by fire in the name of Jesus. I break the backbone of marine witchcraft militating against my life with the hands of fire of God in Jesus' name. Every work of marine witchcraft in my life be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Every strong man from the water kingdom holding me captive fall down and die in Jesus' name. Every deposit of marine spirit in my life be flushed out by the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Every marine power blocking my forward movement die today in the name of Jesus. I release my life from the grip of marine witchcraft tonight in Jesus' name. O Lord, contend with those who are contending with me in Jesus' name. Every trademark of water spirit be shaken off my life in the name of Jesus. O Lord, bring to my remembrance every spiritual trap and contract in the name of Jesus. Let the careful siege of the enemy be dismantled today in Jesus' name. Let the blood of Jesus erase every evil record fashioned against me in the name of Jesus. I address every evil river in my place of birth with the blood of Jesus. I refuse and I reject ancestral water covenants in the name of Jesus. I bring the blood of Jesus against any marine spirit working against me in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I anchor the heads of water spirit harassing my life to divine judgment in Jesus' name. O Lord, smite the power of Leviathan in my life in the name of Jesus. You Leviathan troubling my life, I put a sword in your heart and wound you now in Jesus' name. I put a hook in your jaw in the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood of Jesus. Any serpent program into my body, come out by fire in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire, flush out the poison of the Leviathan in my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, burn from the top of my head to the sole of my feet and flush out every marine spirit deposit in my body by the blood of Jesus. I pronounce celebration upon my life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I put the blood of Jesus at the root where they came in. Close the doors. I seal them with the blood of Jesus. Send them to Jesus Christ of Nazareth for judgment and forbid them to come back or to touch anyone else on the way. I command them to go now. I demand the judgment upon the powers of pride and hardiness and I command them to be bound up and flee in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose a humble and contrite heart submitted to Jehovah God. I completely surrender to his will. I set Jesus Christ on the throne of my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. To God be all the glory. Amen.